Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and to another Tech Club video looking at ChatGPT prompt engineering. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking through five ChatGPT prompts I've engineered that can help you to become a top 1% speed learner at any skill. I've mapped these super prompts to the steps that our brains use to learn anything, including attention, encoding, active recall, and storage, and they all feature evidence-based learning techniques to help you learn faster and more effectively. All the prompts are available to copy and paste in the comments below, so hit that subscribe button and let's dive into prompt number one. Okay, Okay, so prompt number one is a little bit of a meta prompt as it helps you to learn how to learn and more than that it actually analyzes where you are in the skill or subject that you're learning and gives you an actionable plan to optimize your learning path. There are lots of how to learn videos on YouTube but everyone learns a little bit differently and the best study routine is often the one that works best for you. So rather than watching all of my evidence-based learning series and then fitting it around your learning specific needs, I've built a super prompt that turns ChatGPT into your own learning coach who will break down your current problems like procrastination or difficulty with certain topics and then outputs a personalized learning plan with coaching and advice to turn you into a top 1% learner. Let's run through the prompt in detail. You are a learning coach who specializes in helping anyone to learn faster using evidence-based learning techniques. Only respond as if I'm one of your clients who's seeking advice. Your tone should be friendly, kind, supportive, and thoughtful. Ask me one question at a time and wait for my response before asking the next. Do not ask all the questions at once. Ask me four to six distinct questions to gather information about the issue I'm having with studying and learning and to learn about how I study at the moment. Gather this information from all the questions before summarizing my key issues. Only ask one question at a time and take my responses to those questions into account when asking your next question. After my response has been submitted, ask the next question and wait for my reply to then ask the next one. After each response, summarize what you're hearing to make sure you understand me before you ask your next question. Once you've received all of my responses, summarize the issue from my perspective and provide me with a four week study plan tailored to myself and my issues that helps me to learn faster and more effectively using evidence-based techniques. Now you can tweak this prompt as you like, swapping up the study schedule or number of coaching questions and you can be really specific around the current problems that you're facing when learning anything. Feel free to share the coaching advice your ChatGPT learning coach gives you in the comments below or on socials and tag me in and I'd love to see just how creative you can be when trying out the prompt for yourself. Prompt number two focuses on the encoding step of learning. I have some great videos on encoding, but as a quick refresher, encoding is just the process by which information is put into our brains. It's the act of moving information from the temporary store in our working memory into the permanent store in our long-term memory. You can think of it a little bit like how files are organized in folders on your computer when saved to the hard drive. To better encode information and learn more effectively, we want to link new information to what we already know and make it organized and easy to recall later on. One really effective way to do this is to use new mnemonics, which can be easy to remember acronyms or rhymes like H-O-M-E-S for remembering the Great Lakes in North America, or like every amateur does get better eventually for the strings on a guitar. The problem with mnemonics is that unless they exist already, they can be hard to construct and made relevant to what you're currently learning. Luckily, ChatGPT can help you out here. We can use the following prompt to quickly create a selection of word-based mnemonics that help us to more easily encode and remember information for longer. You can insert the topic at the top, in this case we'll use mitosis and then say, you're a study expert. I will give you a specific topic that I'm currently studying and then you'll respond with an easy to remember mnemonic to help me better encode that information. Mnemonic should make sense and be humorous and easy to remember. Break down the topic and simplify if necessary. Output mnemonics in a table. You can then select a mnemonic that jumps out at you for whatever you're learning and boost that encoding step. Active recall is one of the most effective evidence-based learning techniques out there with tons of studies supporting its ability to help you learn faster and more effectively. The problem with active recall is that creating your own active recall tasks to test yourself on can be really time consuming and paid testing or coaching resources can be really expensive too. Step in chat GPT. We can use the following prompt to build out a fun real-time self-testing system to quickly test our knowledge of whatever it is we're learning. You can insert your topic using a variable at the top, in this case we'll use biology, and then say, you're a studying expert. Please ask me a series of active recall questions on the above topic. Ask me only one question at a time and wait for my answer. Do not ask multiple questions at once. Questions can be of the format and then insert the format you'd like. In this case, multiple choice. When I get a question correct, make the next question harder. When I get a question wrong, make the next question easier. After my answer, tell me whether it's correct or incorrect and provide an example correct answer with an explanation. Then move on to the next question. Begin by asking me the first question. After each question, ChatGPT will then provide an explanation and remember you can edit the bracketed variables in this prompt to change the topic and the question type to personalize things to whatever skill you're learning. Sticking with the retrieval and rehearsal 
fundamental steps of how we learn, this prompt helps you to build out a personalized spaced repetition schedule to help you retain information for longer. As we know from the forgetting curve, if we don't retest ourselves or practice a skill at regular spaced out intervals, our brains gradually forget things. The problem with spacing schedules is that they depend on what you're learning and how long you need to remember that information for, which can cause confusion around the best spacing intervals to use. ChatGPT can save you some time here by constructing a spacing schedule unique for your needs. The more information you add in here, the more accurate and specific the schedule will be. For example, if we're studying for an exam, we can use the following prompt. Exam, and then we can enter in a variable of the name of the exam, in this case, the USMLE step one, and we can enter in a time for exam, in this case, 12 weeks. And then we'll say, you're an expert in studying and learning. Provide a spaced repetition schedule for the above exam within the above time frame. Use the best spacing schedule for the time to the exam. Output the schedule in a table with topics and dates that I can follow to study. Just output the study schedule and nothing else. ChatGPT will then produce a spacing schedule with review dates and you can edit the prompt to follow a specific spacing interval such as retesting on days 1, 3, 7, 21 and 30. Effective learning isn't just about learning how to learn. There's lots of evidence that our general health and in particular what we eat plays an important role in helping us to stay focused and to consolidate our memories. Unfortunately, nutrition isn't taught particularly well in schools and even if you've watched some of my videos on foods and nutrients that boost our brain's ability to learn, shopping and meal prepping can take ages so we end up defaulting to quick, unhealthy options when we're focused on trying to learn things as quickly as possible. To help you out here, I've built a ChatGPT super prompt using my CRAFT or craft framework for prompt engineering that turns ChatGPT into your personal nutritionist who will not only create a healthy meal plan for the week to help you stay focused and learn effectively, but will even provide you with a list of ingredients to shop for and the recipe steps for each meal. We can then add in a request. In this case, generate a custom meal plan. And then we're gonna break that request down into actions. Create a meal plan following the below rules. We can set the length, in this case, a seven day plan, the daily calorie goal, the approximate daily macros, which breaks down what's in our meal, and then the protein type. In this case, we're gonna go for keto. We can also set things like the effort and time, such as preparing to cook in under 25 minutes. And we can even specify our favorite foods and any allergies or foods to avoid. We're then gonna frame our output. In this case, we want to say, use only ingredients commonly available at a regular grocery store and include the following. A meal plan with names of all dishes organized by day and a breakdown of the macronutrients for each meal. Secondly, we want a shopping list of ingredients for each meal. And thirdly, we want a recipe list in order. Recipes that should be as short as possible. And then finally, we're gonna set our template or how this is actually gonna be output by ChatGPT. Output the meal plan in a table and then the shopping list and recipe list in Markdown with headings, bullet points, and using bold. And that's it. That was five evidence-based ChatGPT prompts to help you become a top 1% learner. I've added a link below in the comments to all of the prompts and super prompts featured in this video so that you can copy and paste and try them out for yourself. Remember to share your results and experiments in the comments below or just screenshot them and tag me in on socials as I love seeing people's progress with prompt engineering. I have some really great videos on ChatGPT prompts which I'll put up over here as well as videos covering learning techniques like encoding. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again in the next video.